back to our top story. Mineral Resources Minister Nwako Ramathodi held, has held a high-level meeting in Pretoria this morning with mine bosses and trade union leaders to discuss the latest wave of massive retrenchments in the mining industry. The minister briefed the media a short while ago. Our reporter Mboyani Mutwa attended the briefing. For more on this, let's cross over to him. Mboyani, uh, good afternoon. Uh, what was the outcome of the meeting? Well, the media briefing is still ongoing. It started about uh, 15 minutes ago. Um, on the issue of the current wave of action, uh, the statement is actually a two-paragraph statement uh, that uh, has really been focused on that. It says uh, that government is alarmed at the rate of at which retrenchments have been taking place in the industry and uh, as stakeholders. Uh, we understand well the impact of job losses on the economy. And then the most important uh, line on, the, on this issue, it goes like this. The meeting agreed on adherence to two legal processes dealing with retrenchment. So basically, it seems that this meeting failed to come up with anything tangible to say, okay, we are facing this uh, situation right now. Uh, what needs to be done to minimize or to prevent or mitigate? That did not come out of the meeting. Uh, what basically the minister is saying is that um, when, when a company decides to have uh, retrenchment, according to the law, it must notify the Department of Minerals and then start a process of engagement and consultation, a process which then looks at alternatives. So basically they seem to be saying that, uh, you know, there's not much that uh, government or anyone can do to stop what's happening, but uh, you know, companies must just stick to the law in terms of exploring alternatives with the stakeholders. So basically, that's as far as it goes. So basically, Mbongeni, what you're saying is that uh, the government just wants the uh, companies to go through the right motions, but they won't necessarily be able to do anything about the retrenchments. It seems like there's almost nothing that can be done to stop uh, the retrenchment. Uh, what the minister did say, though, is that um, there is a subcommittee um, of this structure that he's chairing, which includes all the stakeholders, the unions and the mining posts and so on. And that subcommittee has been meeting since uh, last night and again this morning, uh, looking at broader strategic issues, uh, long-term issues, which have to do with the sustainability of mining in this country. Uh, so. Basically, the message is clear. There is nothing that anyone can do to stop what's happening right now, but uh, people must continue to discuss and look at broad strategic ways of uh, making sure that the mining industry uh, doesn't collapse, that it, 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 it thrives uh, going into the future. That way, maybe in the future, uh, the range of job losses uh, will be minimized. But regarding what's happening right now, and one must say this has been going on for a number of years now. The retrenchments in the mining industry have been going on especially since 2012. You know, uh, there's been massive uh, retrenchments, and, and that is continuing. Of course, the unions are accusing the mining bosses of embarking on retrenchments always when uh, wage negotiations are about to start. As you know, the gold mining industry and the coal uh, is about to start their wage negotiations next month. So they are saying uh, this is cynical, what is happening right now. Uh, of course, the mining industry would deny that. Thanks very much, Mbwendi. I'm sure Mbongeni will have more news for us later in our bulletins. Uh, he was reporting from the meeting with the Minister of uh, Mineral Resources.